Do you want to run automations in Habitat when you change the mode in Ring? Stay tuned. Hello, people, and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. Today, we're going to be showing how you can integrate Ring with Habitat. It is not a direct integration, but you will be able to take advantage of Ring changes in mode to trigger some of your Habitat devices or rules. And we're going to be achieving this by also using the Alessa app. So before we get into the rule, let's discuss what we're going to need for this to work. So the first thing you're going to need is the Habitat Elevation Hub. This is what will allow the rules and the different automations to be executed. The other thing that you're going to need is Amazon Echo devices or Alessa enabled devices. The other thing that you're going to need is the Amazon Alessa app. And that's where you're going to be creating some of the rules for this to work. And of course, you're going to need the ring alarm system for this. And this is the reason for this tutorial is how to get all of those working together. So let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to need to do in Habitat is to go to the devices section. So click on devices. Then you're going to need to add a virtual device. This device, we're going to put it into the Alessa app. And this device is going to act as a sensor to know what is the status of the ring system. So click on add virtual device. Give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it ring sensor. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to choose that same thing for device label. And for device type, we want to use the virtual switch. So click on type and look for virtual switch. Later, you're going to see why a switch and not a sensor, even though we're calling it the ring sensor, but you'll see why in a moment. So now that you have it selected, click on save device. And now we have created a virtual device within Habitat. Now we have to make sure that this device is available to be used in the Alessa app. So let's go into the apps section. Let's go into the Amazon Echo skill. And let's make sure that we select that device to be available for the Alessa app. So let's look for the ring sensor. Select it, click update, and click done. And this is it for now in Habitat. Let's switch to Alexa app. Well, now that we have the device connected to Alexa as well, the other thing you have to make sure is that you also connect the ring alarm system to the Alessa. We're not going to be showing how to do that in this tutorial, but make sure you have that already. Let's go into the options here. Click on routines and we're going to be creating a new routine. So click on the plus button. Give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it arm sensed click on this so what i want this routine for is that whenever the ring alarm system is armed either in the arm home or the arm state i want this rule to basically turn on my ring sensor switch so let's go into when this happens and then it's going to be smart home. Let's look for ring. 
selected and then let's select for now arm away click next and now we have to add the action that we want for this so the action that i want is to turn on that ring sensor switch that we just added so click there go to the smart home go into the all devices and look for the ring sensor Select the ring sensor and it is already set up to be turned on. So that's what we want. Click on Nest. And that's basically it. Click Save. Now that routine is only for one of the ARM modes. We need to create another routine for the other one. So let's click the plus button again. Let's call it ARM Sense 2. Click on Nest, click on when this happened, Smart Home, look for Ring, click on Ring, and this case is going to be for the ARM stay, click Nest, and click on Add Action, Smart Home, All Devices, and look for the Ring Sensor again. Click the ring sensor and this case is also on because this is another arm state and we want it to be on as well. So click next, click save. And now we need to add one last routine and this is for sensing when the system is disarmed. So click the plus button again, enter a name. In this case, I'm going to call it disarm sensed, click nest, click on when this happens, click on smart home, and look for ring again, click ring, and in this case select disarm, click nest, click on add action, and in this case we want to turn it off, so click on smart home, all devices, look for the ring sensor, And now let's uncheck this and that will turn off that specific switch. Click next, save, and that's it. So we already created three different routines for this device. And remember, this is a virtual device. So this is a device that exists within Hobbitat. And for now, it doesn't control anything. It's just turning on and turning off but it's not controlling anything yet. So let's go back to Habitat. So now that we have that, we can add a rule in Habitat using Rule Machine. So click on Rule Machine. Click on Create New Rule. In this case, what I want is that whenever I arm the house, I want my smart locks to lock themselves. You can do other things. You can maybe turn off lights, give an announcement, all sort of things. But in my case, I want to make sure that every time I arm the house, my doors are locked. So give it a name again. In this case, I'm going to call it lock when arm. Click on select trigger events. Click on new event trigger and we want to look for that device that we created the virtual device the one that is named ring sensor so we know that we created it as a switch so let's look for switch click on switch now select it select the ring sensor right there click update and in this case, we want to do this when the switch turns on. Remember from the Alessa routine, whenever the ring system is armed, either stay or away, it's going to turn on the switch. So we want to grab that information. So whenever that switch is turned on, we know that the system was armed. And that's when we want to lock the house. So when the switch turns on, click on done with this trigger. 
that's all the triggers we need. So click on done with triggers and then click on select actions to run. In this case, we don't need any condition. We just need to lock the house as soon as that switch is detected to be on. So click on select action type to add. Click on control HSM garage doors, locks or valves. And select which action, select lock locks. And now select your lock. In my case, it's gonna be the door lock. Click update. Click done with this action. Click done with actions. And that's basically, this is the rule created in Habitat. So click done. So recapping real quick, we created a virtual device in Habitat that its whole purpose was to basically gather information from another system. So we made sure that we included that device into the Alessa app to be able to push information to it, basically. Now in the Alessa app, we created three routines, two of them to basically turn on that switch whenever the ring system is armed, and then one of them to turn it off whenever the ring system is disarmed. Then we went back into Habitat and created the last rule, which is basically what we wanted. We wanted to have some automation whenever we arm or disarm the ring system. But as you know, ring doesn't directly connect to Habitat, at least not officially. So this is the approach that we have to take to be able to run some uh, rules on Habitat based on those states from ring so that's basically it i hope that you liked the video please hit the like button if you did also subscribe to my channel i'm gonna keep creating content like this and you don't want to miss it so make sure you also hit the bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a new video again thank you for watching and see you next time Now our home.